Hi, Tina from Pasadena here. Uh, you're probably wondering why I'm doing another video shortly after my last one. I'm happy to announce that my last video had 35 views. That's amazing. The one before that had 10 views, so uh, that's a, a big jump. And uh, and I said that if uh, people watch my videos, I'll keep doing this. So thank you for watching and sharing and liking my videos. I will keep doing this. Uh, why am I doing YouTube? Uh, it's not easy to uh, put yourself out there like this as, and for me because I'm really not that great at you know sort of thinking on my feet uh, but this is my way of uh, reaching out to young people uh, we need to get young people involved politically and uh, I don't think they're gonna read my emails but they will watch a, a video so I'm gonna try to communicate as much through video as possible uh, so young people, you are our future, and uh, I'm doing this for you, I'm doing this for us, and you are the future of America. So I'm putting myself out there for you. Uh, so uh, the reason I'm doing this video is I'm responding, to, I was about to respond to an email from uh, one of our top Bernie delegates in my district, 27. Uh, Bobby Nelson's trying to reach out to us and uh, he's really involved with the local democratic clubs and uh, he's trying to uh, uh, basically change things you know the Democratic Party has done things the same old way for a long time and uh, it's not working it's not working and we have to uh, in, we have to you know, just get ourselves out there and um, push and get the message of the progressive movement out there and uh, just speak from how we honestly feel. And uh, that's, I feel like that's the way uh, we can really uh, connect with people who, you know, maybe have been doing things the same way for a long time. So thank you to Bobby Nelson. Uh, I have to say that he's introduced me to a lot of uh, Democratic groups, or specifically the United Democratic Headquarters. Uh, he brought me there, and I, I'm i very appreciative of him doing that. It was an eye-opener, as I've, you've seen in my previous videos. I've made some really great connections there, and, and as you know, I'll be running for office soon, and... Uh, having those connections, having connections to people who have been doing this for a while, have the infrastructure for a winning campaign, that's going to be uh, pivotal for me when I uh, run. So, uh, yeah, actually a shout out to the United Democratic Headquarters. I made some great friendships with Marco, the volunteer coordinator, Arthur, field organizer, and Linda, who's a campaign consultant. And you know that when the time comes, I'm going to be calling them. So, uh, and I want to point out that Marco and Arthur are young people. They're like in their 20s. And like I said, the Democratic Party needs young people. They desperately, desperately need young people. Have I said this enough? Uh, and uh, I don't know if you read my Facebook a few, several weeks ago, I was uh, recounting my experience with uh, entering the United Democratic Headquarters for the first time, grand opening. And the very obvious thing when you first step in is, uh, I, I don't want to seem, you know, ageist, but there was a sea of, you know, white-haired, gray-haired people and it's just very uh, apparent that um, there's n not a diversity of, of generations and but after a while you I felt like you know this is also beautiful because those people have stayed with are loyal to the party and you know they were out there with in wheelchairs you know uh, canes and they were uh, sticking with it and that's that's respectable and I admire that but on the other hand uh, for the future of the Democratic Party 
uh, I was like puzzled. I, I, it was very obvious. Like, where is the next generation? Even it, skipping two generations, uh, very you know senior people. I didn't see that many uh, middle aged and young people. So they desperately need uh, to inspire to bring in new energy. So. Uh, yes, so this uh, uh, thing that event coming up from uh, Bobby Nelson is trying to round up people, rally the uh, progressive Bernie uh, supporters to attend uh, the Foothill Democratic Club this Thursday, 7.30 at Villa Gardens in Pasadena. Like I said in my last video, we need all the support we can get. Uh, I don't care. I really, I personally don't care. Like, which party you're from? I, I believe in policies that support all people, and uh, I, you know, I've been a Democratic Party member for 26 years, and I still believe that we could turn the Democratic Party around. It's much easier to just work with what we have, and you know, change it and leverage that infrastructure instead of reinventing the wheel. So that's my personal view as of right now. So because uh, I met, you know, many progressives uh, that are Democrats. So, you know, they're already working within the system. And uh, yeah, so they're, they're fighting for us and we need to support them. Uh, So I also want to, I also want to specifically ask uh, young people, my young people friends. I, I don't consider myself young. I'm 44. I'm a Generation Xer. So young people, I am going to call out Michael Abrams, Josh Maddox, Jason Scatterwald, Melissa Michelson. I hope, and these are our delegates from. District 27, I hope you can attend uh, this Thursday. Uh, let me recount that I have been to a Foothill Democratic Club meeting uh, several weeks ago. They covered the California propositions, and I found it was very informative. Everyone was very polite, nice, and uh, it was the, facilitated by... Um, Hoyt Hillman, who's the president, and he's the currently one of the board of trustees at uh, uh, Pasadena C City College. Very nice man. Um, so I anticipate this is going to be a friendly event, and there were about maybe 15 people there. And if we can get, if we can make up half, if Bernie supporters can make up half that room, you know, seven of us, eight of us, uh, that will be, that will, uh, that will, uh, be a strong presence that will, that will, you know, convey something that is, um, that will send a strong message that we're out there and we are, um, we're charged up. So, um, and also want to ask uh, all my personal close friends that have uh, volunteers and friends uh, to go with me. Uh, Jacques, Alex, Meredith, Meredith, you're with me because you know we're gonna run for office one day, and uh, uh, I feel like we come from the same place, having young children. So I hope you can ca come too. Yuna, Jeffrey, Terry. Uh, Robert Bilheimer, Christine Chow, Linda, Linda Crossan, Julie McCune, Granny. I hope you can all attend. Uh, I'm sending a personal invite to you f via YouTube. I hope you come. Again, it's Thursday, 7.30 at the Villa Gardens. And I will put the uh, details below my YouTube. And I had the... the uh, very special experience today of uh, going to the National Day of Action for Standing Rock, and uh, we went to downtown LA. Thank you to Linda Crossan for emailing all of us yesterday. 
yesterday night or some recent and uh I wasn't gonna go I knew about it but you know at least one person goes with you then you feel like uh that makes that makes it um more fun and uh you know it's you can't do it alone so we're all, we're all together in this so thank you Linda Crossin as all it takes is someone to reach out just like Bobby Nelson is reaching out to us <coughs> um and just uh my little personal approach to uh Democratic Party I know some of you might feel a little reservation about associating with Democratic Party um I'm a little bit more comfortable now that I've worked with them uh recently but um you know, it it is a uh, struggle. It's a challenge to maybe work with people who have been doing a certain, have been working a certain way for a long time. And how do you uh, reach to reach them? You know, how do you connect? Um, I would say, you know, kind of imagine yourself like, how would you talk to people that you phone bank to, and you know, when you're knocking on doors. You know, do it's the same thing. You know, you're, you know, just be respectful and listen. And uh, I think, uh, you know, start from a place of respect and um, also speak from your heart and uh, appeal to their hearts and minds. I think if you just talk about your own personal story, people will have, will bring their guard down and they'll listen. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I've I've talked to literally hundreds of people from phone banking and knocking on doors. So <coughs> I always talk about my children, so that makes it easy. So when you speak from your heart in an honest, personal place, people will bring their guard down. Like I said, uh, that's when you build, start building bridges. So we need those connections. We need those networks more than ever. Uh, it's easy to preach to the choir, but it's more challenging to bridge the gap of difference. And that's what we need is to to make those to build those bridges, uh, build those networks as wide as we can. So please subscribe, like, share my videos. Uh, this is the new media, the people's media. And uh, until next time, fight the good fight. <laughs>